Hello there. Believe it or not, some 20 years ago, the movie musical was considered a dead genre. Oh, animated movies tended to do well, but Hollywood really was not all that interested in pursuing big, lavish musicals. Thankfully, we're not in that era anymore, and this year we have three big musicals that will be released on screens worldwide, including a new adaptation of Annie that I think has a good chance of being an improvement over the earlier version. However, the movie musical might still be dormant were it not for an Australian filmmaker with an interesting vision and love for the genre. The result was Moulin Rouge, which I think is one of the best musicals of the past 15 years. Moulin Rouge is your pretty basic love story of star-crossed individuals who fall in love at first sight. The story doesn't present anything new as it borrows elements from Greek mythology, Romeo and Juliet, and others. However, even the most unoriginal story can work with the right execution. And director Baz Luhrmann does a pretty superb job of doing just that, mainly because he himself is aware how tired and true this tale is. The movie is even about a group of people putting on a big, lavish musical that slightly pokes fun at the big, lavish musical we're watching. In the middle of all this is the love story between Christian, the struggling writer, and Satine, the courtesan. While these are the typical archetypes of star-crossed lovers, there is a genuine chemistry between the two that makes their relationship believable. This is aided by the fantastic performances by Hugh McGregor and Nicole Kidman, who both managed to show both the comedy and tragedy instilled in their characters. It's also appropriate that the two faces of Greek theater masks are part of Christian and Satine's portrayals, as they are inspired by characters from Greek legends. As the story veers more into tragedy as her tuberculosis gets worse, it gets sadder and sadder, because we've gotten to know these two, as the story goes on, the final result is really heartbreaking. Even though we know it's coming due to the revelation at the beginning of the film, it's nonetheless somewhat unexpected, and the emotions really pour through in the performances. That's a typical love story and still manages to hit emotionally is a key to the success of Moulin Rouge. The other element that makes Moulin Rouge work are the spectacular musical numbers. The level of preparation that goes into any musical sequence is right up there on the screen, with Lerman pulling out all the stops. My favorite number is definitely the Elephant Love Medley, in which Christian runs through a series of established songs including Up Where We Belong, I Will Always Love You, and All You Need Is Love, each combining seamlessly and sung impressively by McGregor and Kidman. It shows how careful care was taken to have the songs fit in with the story and characters, not just randomly selected from a jukebox playlist. The sequence for your song is also amazingly photographed and is also cleverly integrated into the plot to showcase Christian's poetic abilities, even though we the audience know Elton John actually wrote this song. However, the fantastical element that surrounds Moulin Rouge allows us to buy into this. Nicole Kidman's rendition of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend is also amazingly choreographed, with a lot of impressive wire work, and there I say, I actually like this version more so than the famous Marilyn Monroe performance. The Roxanne Tango sequence displays an impressive dance that builds and builds, perfectly combining the dance and song with the inner turmoil being felt by Christian and his conflict as he struggles with his love for Satine, and the knowledge hanging in the back of his mind that she is, in fact, a prostitute. The first scene, set in Moulin Rouge, is a particularly well-edited mix of Lady Marmalade and Smells Like Teen Spirit that really lunges us into this world, though it admittedly does take a little while for it to do that. It should be noted that Moulin Rouge is a hard movie to get into at first. The story and editing is frenetic, and Baz Luhrmann really throws a lot in your face for you to absorb and it takes a while to get used to the movie's style, but it then comes down a bit once we introduce to Satine. I've read a number of comments from people who started watching the film and could not get past the first 10 minutes, and I do not blame them. Baz Luhrmann actually has that problem for all of his movies. Strictly Ballroom, Australia, Romeo and Juliet, all of them begin in the most intense and fast-cutting way possible, and only really start to get good when he calms the F down. It's why I didn't care much for his most recent film, The Great Gatsby, because it's not just the beginning, the entire film is like that. However, I've seen Moulin Rouge enough times that I don't find the opening so bothersome anymore. 
The opening aside, I really like the visual style that Baz Luhrmann brings to Moulin Rouge. When he needs to go hyperactive like the big can, -can numbers, he goes there. However, when he's having quiet dialogue scenes between Christian and Satine, the editing and cinematography slows down and lets the scene play out. Another part of the editing I have to commend the film on is just how well it flows. Even at about an hour into the film, it only feels like 15 minutes have gone by, a testament to the strength of the editing and how engrossing the stories and visuals are. And then there are the jumps to fantasy, which tend to happen appropriately during the musical sequences. Of course an object flung from the Moulin Rouge won't hit the Eiffel Tower, but in this universe it makes sense. On the surface, Moulin Rouge may seem like a hyperkinetic jukebox musical with a typical love story in the middle, which, okay, it is. However, Bob's Luhrmann pays an impressive experience that takes some interesting filmmaking steps in telling its story, and its combination of humor, drama, and heart results in what I think is a fantastic, visually stunning film that I find myself watching again and again quite often. See you next time.